What is up everyone? My name is Tyson and this is Seeking Birdies. No, we are not going to be talking about how to set your table for the holidays. Rather, we are talking about the birdie ball. <laughs> When it comes to the game of golf, there are many different ways you can practice. You can go play a practice round out on the actual course. You can head up to the driving range, hit balls into a net. You can go practice putting. There are also a ton of different products out there. Well, one of them being the birdie ball. Before we get into today's video, if you wanna see more product reviews, how to's and course vlogs, you are not gonna to wanna to miss a video. Make sure you go down, push that subscribe button and turn on notifications by clicking the bell. I will wait, push that subscribe button right now. It's right there, right there. Push it. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I absolutely love my birdie ball putting mat. I use it all the time. If you're looking for a putting green for your home office, just about anywhere, make sure you check them out. I'll put a link down in the description. But before they started making these awesome putting greens, they started by making birdie balls. Now, what is a birdie ball? Well, a birdie ball is this ring-like device that mimics a real golf ball. It's a training aid. If these are still in the package. I haven't opened them up, but I'll roll some B-roll footage so you can get a closer look. If you look at their website, they say the birdie ball is the limited flight practice golf ball that you can hit anywhere. It's the best golf training aid invented this century. This century? Wow. What's so unique? It has the limited flight distance of 40 yards, but it feels and flies just like a real golf ball. It draws and it fades, but with a limited range so you can have your own backyard driving range. Sounds like they're a little bit more advanced than the good old wiffle ball. I thought that went in the hole. A few weeks ago, I partnered with Birdie Ball and we did a giveaway where we gave away one Birdie Ball green to a subscriber. Well, in the conversations leading up to that, they had asked if I'd ever tried the actual birdie ball in which the company's named. I said no, so my friends over at Birdie Ball, they sent me out a case of these for me to try, and that is what we're gonna do in today's video. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open these up and I will share with you my first impressions. Then I wanna do some tests. I wanna test to see if they feel like a real ball and if they carry like a real ball like they claim. If they do, great, I'll keep using them, they'll be awesome. If not, they'll go back to being napkin rings. Why napkin rings? Now, I don't know how far these are actually gonna carry. It says 40 yards on the box, but there's an asterisk. It says that they can go anywhere from 25 to 65 yards, depending on the club. I have a neighbor that's 20 feet that way, and I am not about to send one of these through the window. That being said, we are gonna go over to a local football field where we'll do all of our tests over there. But enough talking, let's open these up. Okay, so my first impressions of the birdie ball is, I don't know why, but when I read online that they're made of some top secret polymer, I was expecting some type of like a rubber material, so they were gonna be like flexible and kind of elastic like a rubber band. The next thing was, is it says that they want you to hit it straight up like that, not on its side. So this would make sense because that rounded edge is similar to that of a round ball. But no, they want you to hit it on its side like that. I don't know how that's gonna feel. I have a feeling that's gonna feel a little different. The last thing was the weight. It feels definitely lighter than a real golf ball, which makes sense. You don't want it to be too heavy or else it'll fly too far. I got a scale out so we could test it. So the birdie ball is 25 grams and a golf ball is 46 grams. So the birdie ball is a little over half the weight of a real golf ball, which that might feel a little different to swinging and hitting something lighter. But like I said, the only way of knowing this is to go test it out. So let's head over to the football field and get this started. want to do a little bit of a warm-up but my first impression of these is the sound it makes when you hit it it's a, it's hard to describe but it's like a pipe echo wind I don't know how to describe it I'm gonna set up my microphone so you guys can hear it so I want to do two tests today I want to find out average distance per club 
because I want to know can I use these in my backyard I have a small backyard I want to know can I use them back there or am I just gonna be sending it way too far so the first test I'm gonna go through every club in the bag hit three shots and then find the average distance per club the next test is we're gonna try to see how it feels to shape the shot. So like I would with a real golf ball, I'm gonna try to put a fade or a draw and see what happens, how easy it is to work the birdie ball. Okay, that is it for the distances. I will recap them all when I get back to the house, but we're gonna move on to the second test, which is testing the draw and the fade. So I'm gonna take five shots with my six iron trying to fade it, and then I'm gonna take five shots with my six iron trying to draw it. And we'll see how easy it is to work them back and forth either direction like it would be on the course. Okay, now that I'm back home, let's take a look at the results. The first test, we checked distances for each club. Now, I'll put those results up on the screen, but taking a look at those, I averaged between 30 and 45 yards, depending on the club, which tells me I could hit my wedges, possibly my nine iron, without having any issues in my backyard. In the second test, I wanted to check to see if you could put a fade or a draw on the birdie ball the same way you would with a real golf ball. And I found it to be pretty easy. So whether you go inside out or outside in, closed feet, open feet, closed face, open face, all that, the birdie ball reacted the same way a regular golf ball would. So to answer the question, yes, you can shape your shot with a birdie ball the same way you would with a real golf ball. Now, I took about 150 swings with these things, and there's some other things that I think you should know. Number one, they have a very distinct flight path. So when you hit it, it goes straight out, but quickly it curves and goes upwards. Obviously, it's transferring its forward momentum to going more vertical, giving its limited distance. This is obviously built into the design. It didn't matter what club I used. It didn't matter how hard I hit it. I could not get these to go much further than 50 yards. Number two, you might have noticed when I was hitting my three wood and my driver, I had no luck making good contact with the birdie ball. That being said, I was hitting it off my mat. I had no way of teeing it up. I tried to rig up a tee using a bottle cap and a piece of paper. It was a mess, stuff was flying everywhere. Birdie ball does sell a tee and that probably would have made this easier. But in hindsight, I don't even know if you should be using your three wood or your driver for the birdie ball. I think you get the most benefit out of using your irons. So from here on out, I probably won't be using my three wood or my driver. So in the end of this video, what do I think of the birdie ball? I like it. I think it's realistic. I think it's an upgrade over the old wiffle ball and I will definitely use it to practice my swing. If you wanna check out the birdie ball for yourself, I put a link down in the description to their website. That is it for this video, guys. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I would love to interact with you down in the comments. I will see you all in the next video. Keep seeking birdies.